Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Cliff. I'm back at you with another one. So look, I'm going to make this video real quick and all that. All right. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if y'all ever had this issue. Okay. But it's very irritating. All right. Now check this. Let me go ahead and flip this over real quick so y'all can see this. Yeah. Y'all going to have to excuse the room and everything. It's my nephew's room. It's all dirty and everything, but he was having issues with his, uh, not not the games or anything, you know what I'm saying, but the TV, all right? So if you have a Roku TV that's ever stuck in, what do they call it, uh, recovery mode, all right? And I'm telling you, oh, my God, oh, my God, it will upset you so bad, all right? If you have a TV that's stuck in recovery mode, this is what you do, okay? I've read multiple forms, haven't seen no videos up on YouTube about this. This is what you got to do. Okay. And I'm telling you, they told me to keep my TV off for two hours, all this other stuff. You, you don't got to do none of that. Y'all. This is what you do. All right. So you come back here and you'll see, right? Where is it at? Hmm. It's right there at the top there. Okay. It's hold on. Let me, let me go ahead and Try to see if I can get my other phone here real quick. Try to turn the light on so y'all can see this, all right? Like I said, I didn't see no videos on this, and I just, I think it's ridiculous. Let me try not to fall over. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm falling in the corner, y'all. So, right there, you see at the top where it says reset? Okay. And you see that power cable over there? What you do is you take a pen or whatever, paper clip, something like that, and <clears throat> while the TV is on, all right, what you do is you hold that pen on that reset button, okay, and you let it reset, all right, and then what you do, you unplug the TV, all right, and then all you do from there is you take that power cord and you hold this reset button down and everything, all right? Hold the reset button down as you plug that in, all right? And when you do that, you hold the reset button down until you see down here, I'm sorry, I'm falling all over the place. This little light, you're gonna see it flash. Whenever you see that flash, immediately go, uh, uh, I'm not talking about like, uh-uh, like hitting it or nothing. I'm talking about immediately pull it and get your finger off of that reset button right there, okay? And then it will take you out of recovery mode, all right? And then, boom, you'll be right here at this screen. Now, this is the issue. For me, <clears throat> um, the remote got crushed, okay? We'll have to get in there <laughs> some other time. But listen, you got the little power button right here. If you listen. So I can't do nothing right now because I don't got the remote. You know what I'm saying? Unless I can figure a way because um, I don't got Wi-Fi, nothing connected, any of that. I mean, I can connect Wi-Fi and everything, you know, and probably figure out another way to get it going. But I'm just going to pick up a remote and then get it all started. But that's what you have to do if you're stuck in recovery mode and everything. And I know a lot of you are dealing with this. I've seen so many different forms and I'm actually gonna post this on a forum so y'all can get it fixed. It does not take no two hours. You don't have to wait 30 minutes. Literally, you basically plug it in and hold the reset button at the same exact time. That's what you do, all right? And then fucking there it is, bam. Let me go ahead and flip this bad boy real quick. Hey, so if I helped you and you got any comments, questions, whatever you know what I'm saying, go ahead and leave your like, subscribe, notification bell. Be back at you with another one. Let's go.